man. Yes, man. Like when you're in a Jamaican, like where you cook and you say, Yo, what are you on? The boat's on land now. I say, Yeah, man, come in, man, because the boat on land now. So, what you know? That's how we do it. Devin, here we are, sun dried. Yeah. And how long did we leave this soak for? So we leave it soak from overnight. To look about this morning, that makes mm -hmm. it more easier because it's soft. Yeah, it's really soft, easier to boil when you put it to soak. Okay. Nice round sea moss into the big pot, it goes. So, you must have cleaned it up pretty good yesterday because yeah. it's, it's not even looking that dirty in that water, uh, it's clean already. Yeah, yeah. So, you did it a good because you, you got to not just put it in the water and leave it, but you got to rinse it several times mm -hmm. before you put it to dry. That means when it dry, that means it's all good to go. Okay, so we will leave this. And that's a good amount of water in there. Right? Yeah, that's a yeah, big pot, so. yeah. And it's a lot of mush. Oh yeah, that's we killed it, man. Yeah, yeah. Last two days. Yeah. So we got to um, leave this approximately like the next half an hour to boil. And then we check it and see how soft it becomes. Okay. Pretty so, simple once it's so, clean and dry. So, so. what I, what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna put some like two leaf of the cinnamon in it. Mm. Yeah, to boil up, uh, bring that aroma because like this, mm. it smells like the ocean right now. Mm. Some people won't like it, like smell like the ocean. So you need like a lime to get rid of that. Uh, some spice like the cinnamon, nutmeg. Yeah, and then the vanilla will go with that, and then. You get a nice one. Awesome. Nice cinnamon leaf. Yeah. Yeah, these are the cinnamon. We'll put that in the pot. And yeah, a lot of places people are eat, eating cinnamon bark dried up and grated, but the leaf does the same flavor. Yeah, it's same cinnamon. flavor. It's yeah, super yeah, good. Yeah. Some and people love the, the pod. Mm -hmm. And some people must like use the leaves. Like, why we use the leaves is like we boil a lot of porridge so we don't even want the powder like in it that way mm. so we use a leaf that means we can take it out later and check it out mm. so we won't mash up this leaf because we still can take it out and check it out before the blend yeah. up yeah. and how long to boil uh we will leave it for half an hour before we check it back mm -hmm. so approximately it will take like an hour to complete full process nice and it's a hot day so we're just chilling on the porch watching the oceans watching the birds go by we had a couple pelicans that keep flying back and forth we kind of got our eye on so very relaxing afternoon near St. Thomas Parish so while that's cooking up in the pot we found actually a whole bunch more moss another morning and I'm gonna show you how it looks once it's become sun-dried even after a few hours it gets so much smaller I'd say maybe even 50% of the size maybe less as all the water gets drawn out by the Sun look at how thin that is now once it's been sun-dried this was the thick one and it's almost the same size as the 40 leg and the 40 leg has become so fine 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 and it's it feels like it's it's gonna blow away it's so light so it's really got a different different vibe once the Sun gets to it and this is that huge piece that I had yeah it looks like nothing Coming on fine. Oh, we got a wicked little piece of light there, lighting yeah. it up. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Oh, it's a hole in the, in the zinc. <laughs> got one little hole in the zinc to light more. it up. It looks cool. 
Oh, look at the color change, hey? Yeah. Pull that up for a second. That is, uh, yeah, it turns all green. Like all the, yeah. the color comes right out of it. So it will boil till it come white till it start to melt. Ah, okay. Will your mind follow your body? Uh, one hour, maybe more, hey? Let's see how she looks now. Oh, it looks like okay. green, white. So. It's an interesting look, for sure. It's gonna look spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna put it in that part, we're gonna blend it, and we're gonna put it back in this part for the final. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. them both cool. hit that part. There we go. We might be able to boil the water just by putting the pot outside in the sun. It's that hot today. Steam up. You gotta get this pot off of the side of the pot. Mm -hmm. Because this pot will burn on your pot and give your mash a different taste. So it's kind of like stuck on the inside yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Be sure whenever time the pot boiled up and it come on the top, then whenever, whenever time it go back down, all those stuff rim around the pot inside. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to turn down the fire. And then we're going to get this thing blended. Okay. Does it feel softer to the touch? Hmm. You can yeah, it's, it's still pretty, pretty solid actually. Mm. I almost thought it would melt down on its own, but mm. is the seawater taste gone? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, the the salt water, sea flavor completely gone. Tesla. Tesla? Tesla? Yeah. Never heard of it, but it works good. Yeah, we put this in the pot. Mm -hmm. And we will do everything like like this. We will blend everything like this. Okay, so it doesn't have to be like completely pureed, like a little bit? No, we will leave it and then the rest of it will boil out. It'll just melt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah. So final boil up now? Yeah. One of the last steps here? Yes. How long you reckon for this last final boil? Like uh, 20, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll get that sit and then we'll get to the flavor part. Uh, <laughs> the flavor part is when it finished and we're gonna get it sweetened. We're gonna add all those flavor to it. That Moscow, my that tea. It's gone. Yeah, this now we're gonna turn the fire off. And we're gonna get our stuff in the look of uh -huh. cake. Yeah, good, good, good. okay. But there's a other thing to it. Like, I know I don't know if you guys might interested, but. 
I gonna be my make my own turn from marsh to magnum. <laughs> <laughs> I but, hope you're not talking about tonic wine. No, <laughs> no. Buy like um some Guinness, blend some woods, mm. and put it in, make it cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. I like that sound of magnum. So we will use like. Half cock of the vanilla. Uh -huh. Yeah. The milk. Betty milk, yeah. as it's called. Sweet condensed milk. Yeah. Which you can get pretty much everywhere. I love having it in my coffee when I'm in Indonesia. Taste the nice. Okay, so quite a bit of Betty milk. Yeah. What I put like a spoon of sugar. Yeah. Yeah, I want to know say you see this one? This one called on the called the lockdown marsh. <laughs> we don't have full ingredients, this is just a lockdown marsh. So don't say oh no no say this and oh no say that. This is just lockdown something. We're just doing what we can in the situation. Yeah. Bit more sweetener to get the taste up. I don't really want it too fresh. Mm. Right. Are the cinnamon leaves still in there? Yeah, we're gonna get it up. Okay, I thought I saw something. I forgot what to do with it. So, so cinnamon boiling with it the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Want this much? Okay. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta lick that up quick. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, it tastes good. This we wanna be like getting our magnum flavor up. The magnum ingredients. The oh, and <laughs> when did I? When did you get this? Oh, it was in there. The secret ingredient that uh, we. Secretly went to this shop last night. Yeah. Don't tell the police. Magnum style. Wow. And it's nice and cold too. Yeah. I almost want to just chug this whole beer right now. It's looking so frosty and good. <laughs> this ain't your regular oats. <laughs> this looks Three. wicked, Devin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's looking good. Yep. Need more oats? Yeah. Now, who is this kid on the Fosca oats box? I always wonder. Mr. Fosca oats. I hope you got paid a lot for showing up on every single box here. It no more paid. <laughs> it looks like from the 50s or something. Yeah. This has been like the picture on it forever. Is for, yeah, yeah, from when I was a kid. Yeah. I know him on that box. <laughs> but there's a few things that move from his face because I think he used to have some speckle on his Oh yeah? Face. They clean him up a yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they model, remodel them <laughs> for 2020 or whatever? It is Richard yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kid, yeah? Richard Ramson, okay. I'm gonna link that up. Wow, look at that. CMOS. Who would have yeah. thought CMOS would appear with Guinness beer and oats? This is not what I was expecting. But, and for people correcting me, I know Guinness is not technically a beer, it's a Guinness yeah, stout. It's not a Guinness stout. But you know, when I think of hops drinks, to me they're all beer. So, you know what I'm saying, anyway, people. And the world's in this quiet blender. Designed by Elon Musk, maybe. 
It's got a USB in it. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Running out of batteries? No, it's a oh. bit too thick. It's a bit thick. Okay. So, yeah. Taking your time. Okay. It almost looks like it would glow in the dark. Yeah. And then you get this one separate here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is pure moss. Yeah. yeah. Lockdown moss. And this is your blend with oats. Yeah. Guinness. Yeah, that's the magnum. Uh, okay. What I will do? Magnum. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're doing it like you're a chemistry teacher. <laughs> this is scientific. Yeah, that's that's wow, Matthew. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. This is a very next level way to mix up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we were a kid, some. <laughs> when we were a kid, going to school, mom get up looking about tea too hot. She used to be like this. Uh huh. Yeah. I feel like this is how mad scientists mix their stuff too. <laughs> Color's almost the same. Uh, yep. Okay, so we're gonna need these now to get cool. Mm -hmm. So whenever they get cool, you're not gonna be able to put this thing up your mouth. You will get a spoon because it's gonna be like a jello. Whoa. Well. This in this bottle uh, for us to all uh, taste samples. Yeah. If, if, if we need to taste it now like at warm, mm. no problem. Okay. Yes, people, this is our lockdown marsh. We all finished right now. This is marsh only. Yeah, this is the Irish marsh only. And this is the marsh with the Magnum and Guinness we call. We call it Magnum. It's the Irish marsh, the oats and the Guinness. We call it Magnum. Wait. Wake up. All right, Matt. You're going to sample this one here. All right. Thank you. Looks amazing. Wow. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just any magnum? Yeah, wrap with the ice knife. What? So this is just our pre-taste. Mm -hmm. Cheers, cheers. So this is the the, the taste. Yeah. Wait, wait, is this the this is the mix-up one? Yeah, yeah? That's the magnum. The magnum, okay. <laughs> Whoa. That is interesting to say the least. I don't know what to compare that to. You can taste the cinnamon. There's zero sea taste. Doesn't taste fishy or oceany or weedy at all. The oatmeal's subtle. It's kind of nice kick. I don't know. That's a crazy one. It's great warm. I I'm, can't wait to try cold too. Wild one. So now we got to try it cold. We're gonna save the big bottle for later. Whoa. See that? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's, yeah, thick. Yeah. It really thickens up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a magnum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. That's wicked. Okay. Mmm. Powerful. Real slimy. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh yeah. Thickens up like crazy. You can kind of see it's sort of gel, half gel, half liquid. Yeah, it's like crazy smoothie material. That's wild, it's like there's huge chunks of gel. You know those aloe drinks that you can buy where there's chunks of gelatinous aloe? It almost reminds me of that. It's damn good though. Yeah. Sweet, like yeah. I don't know how to describe, I still don't know how to describe it. It's, it's a totally unique thing, so. Mm. Anyway, try to make this one at home. Go explore on the seashore. The stuff dries up so much, if you're trying to get a bag of it, you might be hunting for a month to get it all together, but highly, highly worth it. And uh, yeah, big up Devin. Yeah. Thank you, sir. No first pick. That's the Lockdown Magnum. This is the Lockdown Magnum. Ciao. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs>